Welcome to the live. I am excited to see whoever's going to show up here. Um, it's been a minute. I, this is the first time in a few weeks that I've actually been in the right place to record this stuff. I don't even have my camera set up. This is a, this is, this is a webcam <laughs> version of the show. Um, anyway, if you're just joining us, go ahead and type something in the comments. Uh, we're going to be going through um, like blogs and how to get more performance out of your blogs. Um, if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, type in replay. Love to see it either way. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's been, it's been a minute. I've been out of the state for three-ish years, I feel like. It's only really been three weeks, but it's uh, it threw me off a pretty good a pretty good amount. <laughs> Brett says something in the comments. Nicole says, hey, what's up, Nicole? I see that new last name in there. Congratulations on your wedding. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we're gonna run through some some performance stuff on on, on blogs because it, you can't just like let it sit there. You gotta you gotta let it sit and run, and then kind of go back and check and make sure you're actually getting the results you want. There's a few different ways we could do that. Um, first is we're gonna go to a website. Now in the back end of my website, I have this really cool thing called. Um, <laughs> Tyler says go back to Indiana. No, I'm done with that. Um, I have this really cool thing called uh, Search Kit or Site Kit from Google. It's an actual Google plugin for WordPress sites. And I think if you're using uh, show it. You can also use this as well. What's nice about this is it actually shows me kind of the data that I need to know. So like I can see for this particular um, for this particular blog that we're looking at right now, I have fairly high impressions but low clicks. So I need to go through and adjust that. How would I figure out what to adjust? Well, um, we can go into more details directly on the site. I could do it directly through here, or I could do it through um, the back end of Search Console. But just to give you guys an idea. Um, the back end of the site kind of tells me what I need to kind of uh, adjust. Now, it does show me that most of the traffic is coming from organic search. However, it's showing me that I'm not getting very much uh, search traffic from it. So I'm, I'm getting like, I, I want to say this is like 1% maybe. Um, the balance rate's really low. So whoever is c coming here to get here is actually reading through the entire article. Um, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's not performing right. And so... Um, what you want to see is like if, if I have enough impressions going on, that's people who see it in Google. I know that there's potential here. I just need to adjust a few things kind of going through um, and making sure that they're actually performing. And that could be uh, like your title of the article. It could be the photo that you're using for it. It could be your meta description. That's a, that's a big thing. Um, and so when I'm going back and taking, taking a look here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the URL for this particular article, right? I'm going to bring this into Search Console. Okay, so I'm going to go into Search Console. We're going to go into Performance. And then we're not going to do three months. We're going to do 28 days. And then I want to add something new. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click New, and I'm going to click on Page. Now, when I have the page come up, I'm dropping in that, that uh, link that we put in there uh, originally, provided I can get this computer to cooperate with me today. There we go. And now it'll show me kind of where we're at. So this is like the prime example of where you have a problem. First of all, the average CTR is really, really, really low. The number of impressions it's getting over time is not bad. It's like over 28 days. That means 1,700 people have seen it. What's up, Rob? I can see you in here. Um, that's good. It's good. It means that it is, it is getting in front of people. However, it should be a lot higher. There should be a, 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 at least, I want to say at least like 10% of this should be getting clicks. So um, a few things we want to look at. We want to look at the CTR. And we want to make sure we can also see the, the position of it. Okay, and you're going to see this crazy graph kind of going on here. I don't really need to pay attention to the graph because really the, the, the use of the graph is going to be something where we're looking like over time. What I am going to want to see though is I'm going to want to see what's getting me clicks versus impressions. And so we're going to put a uh, like a, basically we're going to put the, the, the emphasis on impressions just so I can see what's actually getting me the most. You can see it's not a crazy amount. So this one might actually be kind of hard to fix because nothing is giving me a significant amount um, uh, of impressions. Typically, when I'm going through an article, um, I can see like, uh, like let's say getting married in Orlando might be the might be the highest one. I might see that getting something like, um, oh, what is it? Uh, I, I might see it like three, four hundred clicks per per term that, that makes sense. But in this case, I'm seeing just really, really low numbers, which means this article is not getting really in front of the right people. And so I could change, I could go through and I can, I, can, I can pick a headline and be like, all right, well, you know, we need to adjust the title here. And what I would do for that is I'd grab all 10 of these, 
um, and I'd create a list. And then I would use the words that show up the most often in that title. So for example, if all 10 of these say wedding in them, I'm going to make sure wedding is inside that title. Um, if most popular showed up, like the next, like that had the next uh, highest amount of repeats, I would, I would add that in. The problem with this one specifically is, is that I'm really not getting in front of enough people to begin with. I'm, a, I'm on page one for this uh, when is wedding season in Florida thing, but it's not getting a ton of click through. I could write the article to, um, to adjust to, to that term and it might actually perform slightly better, but I don't know because I'm not getting enough impressions here. So let's go ahead and go back to my website. Let's look for a different one to mess with because this one, based on the data I have here, I would go back and I'd rewrite. I'd probably need to add some stuff to it. It's not like it's not performing at all because a lot of these are these are... I mean, 10.4, 10.5, those are page one results. Uh, we can see how many things we have for page one. Yeah, there's there's some things that are, are technically ranking. They're just not the intention of the article, so we're not getting clicks. Now, again, if I had seen some impressions that actually would make sense where I wasn't just looking at like a bunch of random terms that got in here, I might adjust the article in a different way. But because these aren't, this isn't like a great example of what to mess with because these are different topics. Um, I'm going to go back in and pick a different article. This one needs uh, probably more context in it. So this is like a, a writing problem rather than, rather than like a title problem or a uh, meta description problem. Um, this might actually need to serve the client like the emphasis better. What's up, Courtney? I can see you in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my blog and I'm going to look for old blogs. I'm not going to look for newer ones that we just wrote because they're not going to give us... Um, uh, they're not going to give us a ton. And some of these we've already went through and done. This was my original venue uh, blog. And we can maybe see what the... Um, Carmen, you're in Ireland. We can maybe see what the uh, what the changes did for this one. But what we did last time was this used to just say best wedding venues in Orlando. Instead, we added a more uh, a more enticing title. So these incredible wedding venues in Orlando, um, and then made sure our, our main term, which is wedding venues in Orlando, was in there, and then added terms that were also uh, in that that list of top ten. So. Let's pull this down just to see if there's any increase. Yeah. Okay. We went up in impressions. We went down in clicks for right now. Um, we're going to give this one a little more time because I think probably did this about two weeks ago. So it's still kind of readjusting. Let's find one in here that's working. Oh, first look at a wedding. Now, this one we could do, um, but the deal is, is that this is going to be a very, very competitive term, right? This is first look at a wedding. Every single one of you could be writing an article about what first looks are at a wedding. And so let's take a look at the data here. Make sure it's a good fit. Yeah, 750 impressions, but zero clicks. Yeah, this article definitely has an issue. It needs to be adjusted. So I, this I probably wrote, I want to say this article is probably as old as the site is. This might be like a two or three year old article that I just haven't really spent much time on. And so we can kind of see this is a problem. Um, there are a bunch of impressions, but there's no clicks and there's no real unique visitors from search. And so, um, what we want to do here is we want to go back into search content, um, or search console and adjust this article. Now I think there's a button in here. Where's it at? Nope. I guess not. Um, uh, let's see. Ah, there you go. I can just click on the, there's a button inside of a site, site kit where I can find the, um, the data for it. Okay, so back inside of here, again, we're gonna select the imp the average position and we're gonna click the average CTR. By the way, in case you're wondering, a 0% uh, CTR is absolutely something you need to fix. Again, um, in this case, this probably means one, I need to adjust the title. Two, I, I need to adjust um, the meta description because it's clearly not enticing anyone to click on it. Three, I need to make sure that the content is actually a good fit for what it is that I, that I wrote the, the article about. And so that article was... Uh, let's see, let's go back to dashboard. Go back in, oh, monetization, I'm not doing that. Um, let's go back in. There you go, for what is the first look at a wedding? Okay, so I'm gonna just take a look over this uh, over this, uh, this content and make sure there's not something that could be fixed. I see like a lot of these are super long. Um, I could probably write these in a, in a better way. So I, I could probably adjust the writing inside of this as well. So this article is probably gonna be something where I'm gonna go back in and adjust the content. I'm also gonna adjust the, the, uh, the cover image just to see if maybe the cover image is not enticing enough. Uh, and then I'm gonna check the meta description. We'll check the meta description here, edit post. It'll show me in the background what I'm looking at. Uh, 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 all the way down here. 
Okay, you want to know all about first first look wedding photos? Click the blue text above to find out what they're all, what they are and alternative first look options. Okay, that's not a terrible way of it's not a terrible meta description, but it's not great either. The reason it's not great is because this sounds like an old school ad, right? It sounds like um, <laughs> does your back hurt? You need to try Advil. Yeah, we don't we don't need to sound like that when we're doing this. It's not it's not enticing. And so um, I might go into this and I might say, all right, people are looking to find out what a first look is. Um, what what would actually be the first question that they'd have? And so I could pop into Google. Okay, go into Google directly. I'm gonna type in first look wedding, which is what I believe that term is, if it allows me to type anywhere. First look wedding. Okay, videos come up first, and then I'm gonna be looking for questions. What is a first look at a wedding? This might actually be a better term, a better title for the article, because this is a direct question that people are gonna be asking. And realistically, that's probably more in term, like in line with uh, what the, the article was written for in the first place. Um, this article, from what I can tell, let's see. When should you have your first look? How long do first look photos take? Where should you have your first look photos taken? Why should you have a first look at your wedding? What's up, Brielle? Um, oh, by the way, Brielle, I did see your message. I'm going to get back to you uh, after this live. Uh, why should you have a first look at your wedding? Okay, so I'm not even answering the question of what a first look is in the first part of this. This is only where we'd see like, okay, in this article, I need to add in probably a, a, a section on top of this. So I'm going to add a heading in here really quick. And I'm going to look at, what was that first question we got? First watch. How about first look, not first watch? Just to make sure. Okay. Let's make sure the question didn't change. Yep. There you go. All right. What is the first look in a wedding? What was the first look at a wedding? By the way, if you're like, if you're trying to write stuff out um, and, you're, and you're like, I don't know how to create sections. These questions are usually pretty good sections to kind of section out your article. So these could all be H2s. Like, what is the first look in a wedding? How does the first wedding, how does a wedding first look work? Who goes first, who goes to the first look at a wedding? What is the origin of a first look at a wedding? These are all great questions I should be answering in this article, but this is an old article. So I never wrote them that way. Um, but if I'm not answering these questions, I'm not going to show up on that first page. Now, conversely, if I, if I create all of these um, if I create all these as like section titles, um, inside of that article, I'm more likely to get picked up on this page because it's going to be answering these questions directly. And it's a good chance that I can actually, um, show up in search, uh, right here. This is called a featured snippet. So like if someone clicks on this, you're, you're showing up on the first, on the first page. What's really interesting here is like, it doesn't seem to matter, um, how, how established the site is. Cause like, like this first one here, Rudy and Marta, these are local wedding photographers in Florida, seen their website a hundred times. They have really great work. Uh, but then this right here, this is Lynn and Jersa. So this is like, that's a pretty big site. It's been around for a long time. This is out in Florida. This is all the way out in, um, California somewhere. Uh, I don't know who Susan Stripling is, but you can kind of see like all of these, all these things are things I could be answering in here. And these are what people are typically searching first. I would then want to check this inside of SEMrush or inside of whatever SEO tool that you use and make sure that, you know, these have um, good, like they have good um, <laughs> relevancy to what we're, what we're kind of talking about and like good search results for it. Um, but the first answer, like, what is the first look at a wedding? I didn't even answer that in that article. So if I'm looking at it, I know, okay, I put, why should you have a first look at your wedding? But I never told them what. So what is the first look? First look at a wedding should be added in here. And then I'll go through a whole paragraph that kind of explains what that is. Um, now I'm not going to make you guys watch me write a paragraph that wouldn't be very interesting in the first place, but just so you know, that's how I'm getting the idea for what the content should be. I'm using actual Google, seeing actually what comes up in the results for it and seeing if there's any of these questions that I could answer inside of my article to make it more relevant to my main search term, which is first look wedding. I think let's take a look at the bottom here. Yeah. First look wedding is literally what my first, my first search term is. So, um, I could, I could then adjust it there. And then for this, this meta description here, again, we just sound really salesy. Like you want to know everything about a first, uh, you want to know all about first look wedding photos. Yeah. That's just not, it just doesn't sound natural. You want to write these things in the way that you, that, that you would actually naturally speak. Right. And so like this, I don't want to put, you want to know all about first look weddings. This could be everything you need to know about having a first look at your wedding. 
could be something along those lines or I can s sit here and just continuously adjust it. Um, I see somebody came in and said, sup, dude, I cannot see the name on here. So what's up, stranger? I don't know if you are a dude or a girl. I cannot see the, uh, I can't see the, 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 uh, the handle there. Anyway, so I'm going to want to adjust this because I can see I'm not getting any clicks. These two things, right, the title of the article and the uh, meta description are going to be really, really big keys to getting more clicks, which means I could take that 750 that we were looking at for that particular article. Oh, what's up, Sam? Uh, I could take that 750 that we're getting from that article and get more traffic coming from that because these are people that are actually seeing it. And it's not like nothing is ranking. I think we do have a couple of first looks things. What's actually getting me traffic here? Yeah, first look wedding, first touch wedding photos. Um, first touch wedding photos, actually something sh I should maybe specifically talk about because I'm already ranking page one for this, but I'm not getting any clicks on it. However, if I was answering um, something about like alternatives at the bottom of this. Yeah, okay, so I do have something in here. I might want to take whatever that term is uh, we just found. Where'd it go? Let's get rid of this one first touch wedding photos. Yeah, I might want to, I might want to directly talk about first touch wedding photos, which is like the alternative to, um, having your, like having the first look, it's just like they go like on a corner of a wall usually, and they, they touch hands or whatever, but they don't actually see each other. Um, I might want to talk about that in more detail because it's already a term that I, that I'm kind of ranking for, and I might want to get more, uh, clicks from that. And I might be able to get a featured snippet from at actually answering the question as a H2 or H3. So I'm going to adjust those things. Now, if I was looking to adjust the title, let's just assume that I need to adjust the title. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this page specifically. Okay. And I'm going to look at one, what my term was for the page. I'm going to make sure that I remember that I'm actually trying to target first look wedding. Um, I might want to check that if I haven't checked it in a long time and see like, Hey, is this actually the term that I want to be looking for? So in that case, I'd open up something like SEMrush and I would type in keyword magic. Yeah, I would type in first look wedding and just make sure. Nope, just the one term is good. Um, and just make sure it's actually something that's getting decent, you know, decent um, search results. Now I can see, all right, this is a 1.9K in, in United States volume, 3.3K uh, in global volume. And then it's a it's like a 40% difficulty. So it's not something that's co that's totally impossible. This is something that I, I don't mind uh, kind of going for. Um, I might look in here just to get other ideas for what I might want to might want to include inside here. Um, but for the most part, like I know, okay, we're, we're not using terms that don't make sense. So then I'm going to go back into this and basically what I'm going to do is how's what's the way I can do this where you guys can actually see it. I'm going to copy every single one of these out. And so, uh, let's see if I can get this to show full screen, go back into Ecamm real quick, entire screen. Okay. Now you guys can see my full screen. I'm going to, I'm going to create a note here. Don't care what's new in notes. We're going to open up a brand new one. And so I'm just going to type these things out. I'm going to literally go, all right, uh, let's just start here. First look wedding. Then I'm going to drop down. I'm going to go into first touch wedding photos. Oops. How about we type in the first, the actual word here. And then let's see. Wedding first look. First look. Wedding photography. Oops, I can spell photography. I should be able to. That's my job. Um, first touch wedding. It's actually kind of interesting because I am seeing that like I'm I'm ranking pretty equally for like first first look and first touch. Um, first touch wedding. Okay, weddings first look. Um, first look pictures, wedding, which is probably the weirdest way that could be typed into Google. Um, wedding first touch again. Oh no, that's the first time we see that. And then first touch photos and first look wedding photos. So what I'm, what I'm seeing here, like that I wouldn't have realized if I just went off keywords alone is that realistically people are looking at this article and it's actually getting in front of people for not just first look, but actually first touch. And so what I want to do is I want to look for similarities in all of these, right? And everything that's, that's, that's mentioned a ton of times, like we would call them really strong words. I'm going to, I'm going to put on the left hand side of this. So I'm going to, I'm going to type in first look and then we're going to get rid of anything that says first look. 
because now we're now we're not worried about the 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 first look. Uh, first, nope. First look. First look. First look. At this point, the word first is now looking really, really strange to me. Um, but then we're going to get rid of the word first because we've already got it in there. First, first, first is gone. Anything else that I'm missing? Okay. Now, obviously, we're going to need, the, we're gonna need the, the term wedding in here because that's also the next most often seen. So we're going to get rid of the first one. Great. Wedding, wedding. Weddings, kind of close. Wedding and wedding. Okay. Now I can kind of see, all right, these, the, the next most interesting thing I need to put in here is either going to be photos, photography, or pictures. Okay. So I could put something like uh, everything you need to know. Eh, it's going to be too long. So this is the other thing. We only want we only want the character count to be like less than 155. So instead of just doing like everything you need to know about first looks and first touches at weddings, I would type something that's a little more enticing. And so first look wedding, first touch wedding, first look wedding. I don't know how we want to do this. I might want to type in I don't know what would make me click on it. Everything you need to know is a good one usually, but it's too long. So then examples of, or what is a first look and first touch at a wedding? And then, because I know photography is going to be something important, I might type out something like photos, included or photography included, um, whatever. Cause that's going to show people, okay, not only is this, is this going to be everything they need to know about a first look and a first touch at a wedding, but it's also going to show photos. Now, why wouldn't I just use the term ex like the, the, the first look wedding as the, as the term in it? I might want to try and reor or like rearrange the words to fit it that way. But I, it's, if you've ever looked at your search console, you're going to notice that you get picked up for like kind of random words that don't really make sense to you. It's not because it's not just the words that you're initially looking for. It's sometimes words that are kind of related or even some words that are not related at all. Now, the likelihood of the ones that you're not actually getting related terms from um, being super high, it's getting you super high impressions is not very high. But um, as long as in the title, they can see that first look is in here, wedding is in here, then you might, you'll still rank for like first look wedding and first touch wedding. What's happening here is I'm just adding in the rest of the terms that people are specifically looking for. These are the expected um, terms they're looking for. And then Brielle says, what is this black box? Yeah, this is just, this is just notes on a, on a Mac. This is just how, like the easiest way I could think to do it. Um, but basically what I did first was I grabbed every term that we have here. I looked for common words, wrote out the words that were common first um, in the, into the, uh, the, the new title that we're trying to create and then rearranged the words so they actually made sense. Um, and so this is what I do every time I want to relook or reword a title. Okay, so we'll, re we'll redo the title, then we'll mess with the meta description. And then if I feel like the photo, right, if I feel like this is not a great photo for a first look, which, do I even have a photo? Because that would be like a very large miss on my part. Let's see, post, going all the way down. Oh, okay, so I do have, I have this image as the first look. If I felt like this wasn't the best first look um, image that I, that I could put up here, I might switch it out for one that's a little better. Maybe it might perform better. I might put one in and, and, and change it up. Um, and then again, we're going to go through the structure. We're going to make sure that if I'm going into Google and I see all these questions here, I might want to add, I might want to answer some of these. Like for me personally, the origin of the first look is actually really interesting because if you don't know this, um, the, the traditional like wait down the aisle thing, the origin of that actually comes from back when you would like, like a marriage was between two families and it was essentially a business transaction. So, um, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> your, your, your dad back in the day, if you were a lady might, uh, trade you for like 10 horses. And what they would do is you wouldn't actually see the bride until you were down the aisle and already said, I do the, I, the, the unveiling of the bride would come after, um, the, I do because then the guy can't back out. The business deal is done. So that's actually where the origin of that comes from. It's not super romantic. Everyone thinks it's romantic, but it's not romantic in the slightest, in the slightest form. 
the the reason you didn't see your bride until you were already at the aisle so you didn't back out of a business deal <laughs> um and so i might want to add something in like that thaddeus says are you putting in all the data in the image too in terms of metadata yeah so like for me specifically i'm going to probably put in uh one of these terms as the name so like if i was going in here and i i might just have it like first dash look dash wedding dash orlando or, or something along those lines so i'd put that as the name and then i'd also put wherever it was that it was taken so if i if it hopefully it was taken in Orlando. If I'm going to put Orlando in the title, I'm going to put the, the coordinates in it and the, um, also the, 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 the details that lead back to me. So the copyright and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to look at, we're going to, we're going to go through, check, check the data, make sure that we're not seeing uh, problems like this, where like the impressions are really high, but the CTR is really low because essentially if I don't go back and fix this, this article has absolutely no purpose on my website. Like it might get a click every once in a while, but it's really not doing any, it's not doing me any favors back here. And so I need to change this so that I'm at least getting, we want to see like if I'm, if I'm, if 750 people are seeing it, I want to see somewhere around 75 people clicking on it at some point, right? I want to see those higher ranges and it's not going to be just from one term. It's going to be from multiple terms. Um, but yeah, what is SEMrush? How are you figuring out what you're ranking for? So what I'm looking at right here, this is not SEMrush. This is Google Search Console. And if you want to do anything in SEO, you need to make sure that this is set up um, inside of it. It is a free program from Google. It gives you every piece of data that they're actually using to rank you. This is going to be the most accurate place you can find any of your SEO terms Um at all you can you can see any of your seo data from here and then use this to adjust it if you don't have this data and you're just making changes to your articles it's kind of like driving without looking okay it's it's like you're just i think i might be on a road i don't know Ooh, that was a weird bump i don't know why it screamed yeah we don't want to do that we want to make sure we're getting all the data from and so you need google search console and then another tool i use is called semrush i get all the data from semrush for like search volume for potential terms because until i actually write the article uh i can't see what I, I won't be able to see what the what the impressions are going to be until the article is already written and up. I can't see what the what the data is going to be, and if I'm not looking up what terms are ranking for what, I don't know that it's even worth writing for some of them. Because even if it shows up in Google like this, like if I just type in a, a random term and I see questions come up, it doesn't tell me if it's like a bunch of people looking for that question or if it's just like one random guy that's like searched it one time or if it's literally just me. I have console set up, I think, but struggling to get any data on it. Um, you want to make sure that that both of your properties are inside of it. And then also, it just depends on how long you've had it in there. It's not going to give you instant data. Uh, so we might want to check and see how long that's been in there. Um, but yeah, any questions on how you would change out, like how, how you would change out things for your, um, your already pre-written articles, like how you would check the performance? Because really, the step by step is this. I'm going to go through, I'm going to check my website, see what articles I have that I think should be getting clicks, check to see if they are getting clicks. If I see something like high impressions, but low CTR, I know I have a problem. If I see high impressions and no clicks at all, I know I have a problem. If I, if I have the problem, I'm then going to redo the, the title. I then might change up the, the meta description. And then I might adjust the article itself, the content inside to make sure it is actually serving the best purpose of someone who's looking on Google. So like, for example, on your homepage, if someone's looking for like in my case, it'd be Orlando wedding photographer. I want to make sure that I'm giving them information related to being an Orlando wedding photographer. Um, if you're writing an article about first look weddings, but then all you talk about is uh, uh, primate zoology, that's not really helping anybody. That has nothing to do with what your, uh, your initial thing is. And so you want to make sure the content's good. And then again, change the image if you feel like you need to do that. Give it some time, check back in and see if you haven't made any improvements on it. With that said, uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. This is kind of all I've had kind of planned up for today. Uh, we're going to get back into our regular schedule. And I think the first week of November, um, we're going to go live every day. I think we're going to do, we're going to do a little, like a mini workshop kind of, uh, uh every day that week. Um, pumped to, uh, I'll get some more details kind of going on that. Tyler says he volunteers to write a primate zoology article. <laughs> Well, uh, you have the most experience there. So anyway, I will, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Um, see ya.